the defender of the hummingbird feeder. This guy gets on my spider web and guards the hummingbird feeder. All right, folks, here we are on the side of the house. This year we did a raised bed garden. Let me scoot back here. I think the dimensions on this are roughly four, uh, 14 foot across, 14 foot across, and roughly five to six foot wide okay so this is probably the second garden that Stephanie and I have done we did one in our old house in town and this is the first one we've done on this property um, we did four better bush tomatoes plants we're gonna harvest some of them tomatoes today and we did one I think it's a Juliet tomato one of those and then we did two cucumber plants Let's see if I can get out of the way it's awful sunny it's hard to see the camera here so we got Oh, where's it at? Right there. Cucumber. Then we did two squashes and two zucchinis. Let's see if I can find any. I thought I had a big zucchini over here somewhere. Mm -mm. Anyhow, that is the garden. Pretty sure there was a zucchini on there somewhere. Zucchinis have been doing really well. Um, we've had quite a few of those. Squashes, all right. We had one plant that looked kind of, kind of sickly for a little while. There's a zucchini right there. There is a zucchini right there. Okay. Uh, like I said, the squashes were doing, one of the squashes, the plants, the leaves were looking kind of bad, still looking kind of bad, and it actually had one or two bad squashes on it, but uh, I pulled a good one off of it yesterday, so maybe it's going to come back through. I also did some peppers, two pepper plants, one habanero, and one ghost. Uh, I got to give them some water. They look pretty rough right this second. They look good yesterday, but today they look kind of rough. Uh, they said the, to get hot, hotter peppers, though, you want to let them kind of get to that stage where they got to, uh, whatever you want to call it, fight. You know, not perfect conditions. Make them work for it, so that'll make hotter peppers. But that is it for the garden. Some folks have been wanting to see the garden, so that's the garden. 
Uh, for as small as it is and what we got, it's actually producing quite a bit. Um, cucumber wise, we're kind of, uh, we're looking into canning. We did some, uh, I guess they call it cold bath canning or something. It's where you don't actually can it. You just put it in the jar and you set it in your refrigerator. It won't keep that way for a long time, but if you're going to eat it right away, it's the way to go. So we did a couple cans of that. One uh, bread and butter and one, one uh, hot one. Okay. So we got the garden here. Next year we want to go bigger. Next year we're probably going to utilize all the space between the house and the shipping container. Going to use it all. This will all be garden, raised flower beds, not the whole thing. You'll have, you'll be able to walk in between and get what you want. We'll probably have one bed for just cucumbers and one bed for just squash and one bed for, you know, you get the idea. And on the shipping container, I actually want to use, utilize the shipping container possibly for the garden. So, these tomato plants, these are uh, growing pretty good, but we only got like three foot tall trellises, so we're kind of limited to that. Next year, I kind of want to build some kind of system off the top of the shipping container and grow my tomatoes up it so they'll have the full height of the shipping container to grow. And we'll probably do some more tomatoes Maybe do like six, six big tomato plants and then two or three of the uh, grape tomatoes. Sanders in there hollering about something. He's not happy. But that's the gist of the garden for this year. Not doing too bad, actually. I'll, I'll do a small, show you my pepper plants. I moved them to the front yard in a uh, bucket. They were right there, but as you can see, the cucumbers have, uh, or the uh, zucchini plant has overtaken that, so I moved them. But that's the garden. Here's one of our pets. Pet lizards. Let's see if he freaks me out. All right, there is today's harvest. Couple cucumbers, one squash, one zucchini, couple of the larger tomatoes, and a bunch of the Juliet tomatoes. Good stuff. So here's my pepper plants currently. Like I said, these looked really good yesterday. So I'm gonna water these, and I bet you within half an hour these things will look like they were never dried out. But I'm thinking these are the habanero peppers. Somebody needs a nap in there. Habanero peppers. And I think these, where's it at? Where are you at? Bear with me, I've lost my pepper. These are the ghost peppers I'm thinking. There you are. It's hard to see, man. It is bright outside. There's another one. Thinking those are the ghost peppers. So I'm going to get these guys some water and we'll see how quickly they perk back up. Alright, so there it is. Okay, this is uh, 
So I actually watered this yesterday and about an hour later it rained a bunch. So it got plenty of water. You can see how well those uh, leaves have perked up a little bit. And actually, I don't know if I can get this color on here. Those habaneros might actually be starting to change a little bit of color. I got something new right here. So that's those 